question 5 of 2021 the derivative of this cubic function can be written in the form and it looks like a completing the square question here f prime x is equal to so we need f prime x to begin with f prime x is equal to 6 3 by 2 6 x squared plus 12 x minus 12 and they want us to write this in the in this form a by the x plus b to be square plus c so we're going to take 6 outside x squared plus 2x minus 2 many different ways to complete the square we want x squared plus 2x the only way to get that will be to have x plus 1 to be squared at this point we're not going to change the value of the original line here so just check what you have and you'll see what constant c to take away or add on so we have 6 by x squared plus 2x plus 1 which is 6x squared plus 12x plus 6 so we have the 6x squared we have the 12x we want minus 12 we're at plus 6 so I have to take away 18 so you can see here that a is equal to 6 b is equal to 1 and c is equal to minus 18 and then we're told if g of x is equal to 36x plus 5, find the range of values for which f prime x is greater than g prime x. Well, let's get g prime x. That's going to be 36. So when is 6x squared plus 12x minus 12? When is that greater than 36? Not greater than or equal to, it just says greater than, greater than 36. So bringing the 36x across, or the 36 across, 6x squared plus 12x minus 48 is greater than 0. Dividing by 6, we're going to get x squared plus 2x minus 8 is greater than 0. Factorizing this, we have to have x times x to give x squared. 4 times 2 to give 8 is the only way we can get a 2, and we want plus 2x, so plus 4x minus 2x. So x is equal to 2 or minus 4. Well, it's not equal to those two. We're just saying that for now. Let's do our sketch. So we have a positive and a negative root here and here. Inside here was, is when our quadratic is less than 0. So our solutions are going in this direction here and in this direction here. So at this point, x is equal to 2. So x has to be greater than 2. And at this point, minus 4 x would have to be less than minus 4. So these are the two solutions here. Second part of this question, the diagram shows below the tangent to the line h of x, this guy here. And we have a point 0k here on the y-axis. We have a point here at x is equal to pi over 6. So what point is that? When x is equal to pi over 6, we have twice the sine of pi over 6 is 30. So twice the sine of 2 thirties, twice the sine of 60. And the sine of 60 is root 3 over 2. So root 3 over 2 times 2 is just root 3. So this point here is pi over 6. When we put x in for pi over 6, we get our y value to be root 3. So we have a point and we've just got one on missing value here. So we can get the slope of this line. We can fill those values into the slope. So the slope is h prime x. h prime x, 2 sine 2x goes to 2 cos 2x. And then we just differentiate the angle. 2x goes to 2. So we're going to get 4 cos 2x. And the slope of this line, we can tell... pi over 6, you can tell what the slope is, h prime pi over 6 is equal to 4 times the cos of twice 30, the cos of 60, cos of 60 is equal to a half, and 4 times a half is 2. So we have the slope is equal to 2, and we have two points here. So we have pi over 6, root 3, and we have the point 0, k, and we have m equals 2. So k minus root 3, k minus root 3, 
to change in y over to change in x, 0 minus pi over 6 is equal to 2. So k is equal to twice minus pi over 6. This one times this one. And when minus root 3, we bring that across plus root 3. So k is equal to root 3 minus minus pi over 3. And this is where pi becomes a decimal. And if we type this into our calculator, what format did I want it in? Correct it two decimal places. My calculator is giving me 0.6848. Which is 0.685 or 0.68 actually to two decimals if we rounded the three first we're going to be wrong so 0.68 to two decimals here not 0.68 that's question five